So, Club Championship weekend has now finished. Uh, it is Sunday afternoon. The sun has finally shone. It's about, mm, about 10 past 6, I think it is now. Um, so, give me an opportunity to just clean my clubs. Uh, while I'm cleaning them, I thought I would do a quick what's in the bag. Um, see a lot of these being posted up on the internet, and I thought I'd get involved. So, what's in the bag? So rather than a what's in the bag, let's start with what is the bag. Now, uh, my wife bought this for me for Christmas. It's a McGregor VIP cart bag, um, which is obviously blue, black. I like the blue stuff, as you may have seen from a lot of the stuff I wear. Uh, now onto the clubs. Uh, a lot of my clubs are Cleveland. Um, I do like the Cleveland products. Um, I seem to get on really well with them. So starting with the wedges. I uh, bought a set of wedges at Christmas, um, so these are the Cleveland 588 RTXs with the Rotex face. I have a 60 degree, a 56 degree and a 52 degree. Um, now they got the, they've got the standard shafts um, and they are straight off the shelf um, from American Golf. On to the irons. now. My irons again are Cleveland. These are the CG1 Tours. Um, I have from Pitch and Wedge through to 3iron. Now the 3iron is an extra I have purchased after I bought the clubs. Now they're blades up until the 5iron. And when they go to a 5iron, they become a slight sort of muscle back. Um, they're completely blades to set up to. I'll just take this 8iron out now. You can see, uh, as you can see, they've had a few uh, a few uses out, a few rounds out of them. The now the blade itself is quite narrow, but setting up to that, it, you know, you can't really tell. Um, and I'd probably struggle going back to uh, the cavities now um, f for the time being. So that is the irons. Um, Moving on to the, the big sticks, I have gone for, I've got some light going on here, I've gone for the Mizuno JPX 825s, um, these aren't the EZ models, these EZ models are the newer ones, and then the 850s are the latest model out. Um, so I, I bought the, the five wood at the Manchester Golf Show um, last year, and since then, it's a stiff shaft um, with a Golf Pride grip, which you may have seen me installing on a previous video. Um, nice shiny black face. Um, now I got on really well with this for so the second I purchased it. Um, so that's five wood. Um, I tend not to use it very often, um, as I can hit my my three and four iron at a similar distance. And then the driver again is the same, 9.5 degree, both again stiff shaft, um, 55 gram shaft with the multi compound golf pride grips. And last but not least, which is my newest purchase, is the putter. Now the putter is the Cleveland Smart Square. Um, this is, um, we only had this for less than a week now. Um, this is obviously very similar to the Odyssey 2 ball putter. The only difference here is there are squares. Now the squares should be easier for aligning. Um, now I've opted out for here to have the slightly longer model, which is the 39 inch. So it's got the extended grip on, which is a similar length to my bag. Now that's a counterbalance putter. Um, and it's also got a centre balance face, um, so putts should go in a bit smoother, should be a little bit easier to play with, um, as my previous putter was a toe faced. Um, now obviously last but not least, my ball of choice. Now I've been using the tightest, um, tightest ball as a tightest velocity, now obviously there's, there's multiple reasons why I prefer these. Um, firstly, because they're a lot cheaper than Pro V1s, uh, and secondly, because um, I kind of just like the feel of them. The Pro V1s I find are quite hard, 
um, whereas these are a little bit softer and I feel like I can get a bit more control around the greens. Um, but yeah, that is what's in my bag. Thanks for watching.